Hi guys, this short little video will show you how to set up a questionnaire. So first of all, make sure that your turning, turn editing is set to on. Go to the space where you would like to put in the questionnaire. I'm going to go right to the bottom. So add resource and activity. Scroll down, look for the questionnaire. Click add. Then give it a name that you would like to, do, to use. So mine is going to be super regional questionnaire test. You can put in a description as you if you'd like. But again, bear in mind all of these descriptions on the course page is going to make it super cluttered. You can set your timing. At the moment it's set to not have not, not be influenced by timing. So if you would like to put in timing, then you could activate it by clicking these two. But I'm going to leave it off. Then we've got response options. And this is very important. Do you want students to respond many times or only response, respond once or weekly? Um, so in my case, I only want to hear them, see them, have them respond one time. Then respond in type. This would mean, do we want to have an anonymous one or do we want to be able to see student names and, and surnames? So this is a setting we can set automatically. Um, this one is also important. Students can view all responses either after answering the question, after the questionnaire is closed or always. So <clears throat> if, if we want to, want to to, for instance, ask something quite private, I would say go to after the questionnaire is closed. I would then activate the close date and actually put it like way ahead. Um, <clears throat> and after after they've um, after the due date, if I, for instance, say students, I want you to respond by next week Friday, I leave it as as that and at the the due date out I, I just hide this activity so so that we can still have it private but we'll still be able to see full names if if that is something that we need to have but for the rest i just leave it like this if it's not something important i'd always say after answering the questionnaire um, this one important send submission notifications we say no, otherwise you're going to get an email for every single note uh, submission. Save re resume answers. Do you want students to stop and save um, and then go to go and resume? Um, I would generally say no because, because we're probably not going to have so many complex questions. Um, allow branching questions is um, if we want to cr create branches. So if we have students, if we have a questions question like um, a dichotomy question yes no and if they say no we want a please explain further type of question that we can put in branches then we've got auto numbering um, it's always said to automatically do that but if that's something important you can have auto numbering um, submission for grade as you can see we can have it um, marked as a grade but that's only an option then we've got content options, and this one is quite important because if you're doing something completely new, just say add, create a new one. These are templates. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see all of these templates, um, but these are different templates that, that's saved on the system from course evaluations to, to different types of things. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that um, unless if you have one. Common module settings here, the normal stuff apply. Do we want to show or hide? I'm going to say mine show because I've got no students on. We can restrict access to groups, to times, to, to all the different things. Um, and here we've got the new, fun the, the other function activity completion. So here we can set it, students can manually mark as completed, or we can say show activity as completed when conditions are met. If we click that one, uh, and we click this submit students must submit this questionnaire to complete complete it then only after students have saved and submitted it would have a tick next to it um, 
Okay, and I think that's about it for the general settings. We can say save and return. And there our shell is set. So we've got our questionnaire to set it, go into the questionnaire. Same as all the other functions. We first create the shell and then we, we start building the internal bits. So now it's as simple as saying add question. And you'll see you've got advanced settings, questions and non-respondents. So at the moment we're setting questions. So add questions, you go click on the this check boxes, you'll see it's a drop down. And what check boxes is exactly that. If we want to give give options, you can click all that apply or click the best time or something like that. They need to in this one provide a date. Drop down box is exactly the same. You select one option, but it's a drop down box like this one. We can add in an essay box so if we want students to to write something for us that's that's important we can put in a label um, if this is any special instructions we can add in a, a numeric they need to give a number back or radio buttons <clears throat> so choose option a b or c type of multiple choice type question or give a rating so we can give linked scales in, in, in questionnaire as well from 1 to 5 how engaging was was X um, or a small little text box or a yes no type question um, so I think you need to explore some of these I'm going to start off with something simple a yes no question so add selected question type <clears throat> you need to give it a question name again this is some if, if it's something important to you um, I'm going to go the lowest denominator. I'm going to give it number one. And all questions that you set will give you this response is required. If you click yes, students cannot submit unless they answer this question. So that's that's quite important. Um, and then we can say is it easy to set a questionnaire. Right, so that is my question. You'll see you don't have to put in any options at all. When we say save, it'll save the question. And what you'll also see, we've had we have this extra block here to say preview. If we click preview, you'll see this is how the question pops up. Is it easy to say the question here? Yes, no. If we want to add a question again, we go back to questions. I'm going to use the same question and 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 give them a essay box so if you click essay box you click add selected question oh no you get number two is response required yes no i'm going to say no format response this is the only one that you might want to shift to to plain text then it pops up like a box like this um, text input input box size depending on how much space you want to give i, I generally give 20 lines <clears throat> Students can then decide on how much they want to add. Um, you hit save changes. Your question is there. You'll also see in this line, if I want to edit this question, I go to the gear and it will give me the option to edit. If I want to delete the cross and the red button, button would say response is required. So if students would do this, they can only complete it if, if they answer this question. We can also change it from here by clicking the red box, box and it'll change to green. So no, no response is forced from here. Um, I'm just going to show you the last one. Let's say the check boxes because it works a bit differently. So let's say as selection question here again, we've got number three response required. No. Minimum force responses, we leave at zero. Max, we leave at zero. Again, this is, this. if anything, we're unsure of, we just click that. Um, sorry. <clears throat> so minimum, we have zero and zero. That means if we give 10 options, um, do we want students to choose a minimum of, let's say, one? So if we make this one and a maximum of one, 
students can only choose one option. If we want students to choose one, but a maximum of two, then that's, that's the logic there. So I'm going to put in the same, is it easy to choose a question? And this is the only thing that you need to know. Um, when it comes to possible answers, you need to give each each option um, um, an, uh, each, give each option its own row. So we can say yes, we can say no, we can say maybe, we can say uh, very difficult. All right, let's just leave it at those four. Okay, so now we can see we've got three questions in and we can actually go and preview it. And you'll see, is it easy to, to set a questionnaire? It gives you the option to no answer because it's not forced. The moment we have it forced, well, you'll only have these two. So let's say no. Here we can give in a text comment. You'll see 20 lines is quite, quite a lot. Um, and here is that question we had here with the, the tick option. So we can actually tick. These questions don't make sense. Um, but, you know, just to show you how the mechanics of this would work. Um, students will then <clears throat> click a submit preview. Um, oh, yes, I must set it to not more than two. So if I set, set it down to two, boom, it actually works fine. Um, then just if we look at advanced settings, you know, questionnaire private, if we want to make it public or a template, we can, but I'd, I'd only use that if, if I'm, I, if I intend reusing this, I'd, I'd save it as a template. Um, here's your title, your subtitle, any additional info, this is only available to you. If we want to take students back to the course page, after they complete this, we just add in our course pages uh, address here. So um, that would be your your landing page. So you just copy this URL of your landing page and you put it down here. Um, or we could, could give them different options. You know, we can give them a message to say thank you. Um, so that's just the different advanced options. Um, but if we go back to questions, you know, we can drill down through. So what is really nice about the questionnaire is, let's say I open it and I only get 20% of my class doing it in the first day. If we click at non-respondents, we actually have a list of who did not respond. And we can say select all and actually send a message to them to say, um, you know, Please try and have a look. Let me know if you're struggling to get in, um, etc. So there's there's a bunch of different um, ways in which we can actually engage with um, students, even in the questionnaire. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, good luck.